Hi Glam Fam, I'm Maddie and welcome to my channel if you have not yet became an official Glam Star. All that you have to do is hit that subscribe button in order to become one and let's go ahead and get right into this video. So I've gotten so many compliments on my skin and so many of my Glam Fam members wondering what do I use. Now if you'd like to know specifically what I use to end off my nights and to start each and every single one of my mornings then definitely check out my skincare routine which is right here which I will also leave in the cards for you all. That is my everyday skincare routine. But what else have I used to clear up my skin? Today I'm here to share with you all my favorite face mask that has helped my skin tremendously. Now first and foremost, of course, we have the very famous Colgate and Toothpaste Face Mask. This is one of my favorite face masks that I've ever tried. Of course, you only need the smallest amount of Colgate toothpaste or any other white toothpaste. I've heard a lot of people comment under that particular video and ask, does it have to be white toothpaste? And to that question, I answer yes. And it has to be white toothpaste because white toothpaste typically contains baking soda and if you're not for sure whether that white toothpaste contains it or not definitely look at the container of the toothpaste I will leave some of my favorite toothpaste listed down below that do contain baking soda So here I am, fresh faced. I'm giving myself a little bit of a spa treatment on today, so I decided to share that with my Glam Stars. So all that you wanna do is take your Colgate toothpaste, and this is all that you should need. You shouldn't need a whole lot, just enough to spread all over your whole entire face. And also pick up some of that Vaseline. This should be enough. All right, I'm just going to mix these two together on my hands and this is a great natural treatment because you do not have to use up any of your clean utensils. And I'm just going to apply this to my face. look when you're finished make sure to keep this away from your eyes because it will irritate them and I'm going to leave this on for about an hour do some household chores things like that and then I'm gonna come back and share with my glam stars how this skin is looking okay oh y'all this face mask feels so good and so refreshing hey, hey, hey. who is that uh, I'm sorry <laughs> you were oh come on in oh, mama oh, no. come on come on in She was recording. She don't have a sign on the door. We bought. I bought signs, and she I don't forgot. have the sign on the door. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, she has a new camera, y'all, and I'm looking at myself right there. Sorry. Okay. Hey. Over here. I, but I was just. Looking I was supposed too. to know, right? Y'all, yeah. let me let her get to work. Okay. Bye. Back to work. I'm sorry. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the finished result after I washed my face of using Colgate and Vaseline together. I have been using these over a period of time and they have done such wonders for my skin. I'm pretty sure that most of us have these items at home, so if you already have them, go pull them out and start doing your little treatment at home. You don't have to invest much money to be beautiful. I always tell people that all the time, if you wanna improve your skin, if you wanna improve your body, there are many things within your household already 
that you can use. And I am here to share them with all of my glam stars because I want us all to feel fabulous in the skin that we are in. Now, since I love the Vaseline and toothpaste face mask so much and it gave me such an even and smooth complexion, I was like, let me try Vaseline and Egg, which is another extremely popular face mask here on YouTube. So I tried it. I added one tablespoon of Vaseline to my mixture. I also added in some rice flour and I also added in egg and I mixed all of that together and it created a great face mask. Let me share with you all exactly how it went. Okay, so here I am, fresh face and ready to apply my Vaseline and my egg to my face. I've already mixed up my mixture and I will be applying it with this e.l.f. small stipple brush. If you do not have rice flour within your home, you can substitute rice flour with just rice and blend it up in a blender, okay? No, no. So give me when I want it, baby. Cause I got what you need. Let's apply it to our faces. Here's my mixture, you all. Yeah. Woo. That smells, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad, but it smells a bit odd, okay? Just a little bit, but I'm still gonna put it on my face, okay? Cause we're testing this out and I love y'all, but I'm a little bit on the nervous side, so ah, let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna take my stipple brush and dip it in this mixture. And then from there, you apply it on your face. And it feels a little bit weird. Um, 
yeah, I shouldn't have put it on my lips uh, because it feels like I have like skin peeling off of my lips or something like that. Um, but I'm going to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll wash it off and see what it does for my skin. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about all the benefits that the products used in this mixture have. So let's get right to that. Okay, so the first item in this mixture is Vaseline. Vaseline is said to leave the skin soft and supple, which is and has been a proven fact over the years. A lot of people tend to think that Vaseline clogs the pores, but Vaseline is a non-comedogenic, meaning it does not clog your pores. <laughs> Egg is used to brighten the skin and get rid of those pesky fine lines. It also helps to get rid of and fight against wrinkles. And none of us want wrinkles, okay? So start this as early on as possible. I am 18, but I do my face masks, my anti-aging things because I don't have wrinkles and I don't want them, okay? It also works to eliminate dark spots, acne, and age spots over time. And that is exactly why I'm doing this mask because I have been having a little bit of breakouts recently. So I'm trying to get rid of those. Now I'm going to go wash this off and share my finished results with you all of this mixture. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around When it comes crashing down All I need is not to feel so much alone So step inside my zone Baby, you can give me everything I want Everything I want Always dance and sing You're captivating me All I need is to know that I'm in your heart Okay, so this is my face freshly washed. My skin feels so amazing and so good. I am so happy that I decided to do this face mask. I think that I'll be testing it out over the next few days just to clear up this acne and all that good stuff. But so far, I am loving it. I absolutely love the way that it did my skin. I feel so refreshed and I'm so happy that I sat down on today to do this face mask because it made me feel so good and so like I'm having a a spa day. <laughs> And this last face mask that I tried out that I love so much contains Nativa coconut oil and it also contains baking soda. And this face mask left my skin so flawless. This is the one that I'll use on the everyday basis, especially when I'm looking to improve my skin overall and just get that healthy glow back, okay? This mask right here is super duper simple and most of these products that I'm sharing with you all for all of these face masks, we already have at home. So since we are still in quarantine, well some of y'all are a little bit freer than others, I'd recommend just taking out some time out of your day and trying out these face masks and just sharing your feedback with how they worked for you. Let me share with you all how to make it first and foremost. Coconut oil is used in many natural beauty products. It's naturally antibacterial and antifungal. Coconut oil for skin is an excellent moisturizer. Coconut oil is great for the skin. It protects the skin from cracking and also moisturizes the skin beautifully. Coconut oil also prevents a premature aging. Next up in this mixture, we have baking soda. Baking soda is a great exfoliating agent that helps remove dead skin cells. In addition, it also balances the pH balance of the skin, which is very important to maintain even and clear skin.
Okay, so here I am all fresh faced and ready to apply my mask. So here's my face mask, you all, and I am so excited to apply this to my face. I brought out my e.l.f. Um, stipple brush, small stipple brush, to apply it to my face. So that is exactly what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, so my mirror is right here, so if y'all see that, that's what that is. You made a big mistake thinking I would wait. You never took the time and now it's too late. So now I have the face mask on. I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I love the smell of it. I think that I love the smell of coconut oil. I am a bit weird, um, but I absolutely love how it feels on my skin, okay? This is the finished result. My skin feels so amazing and so rejuvenated. I love it so far so good. It has made my skin feel so nice and so smooth and I definitely recommend trying this out. All it is is coconut oil and baking soda and girl, you can get the skin that you've always wanted. Now, just because it works well on me doesn't mean that it's going to work well on you. So definitely make sure that you're taking precaution when using these products and making sure that your body is okay with them. I definitely recommend doing something like a patch test where you put it on that one specific area and see if you have any type of allergic reaction to it. Hopefully you don't, but if you do, then I definitely recommend straying away from this face mask. y'all hanging before I leave out of here let me share with you all my glam star of the day I want to thank you so much for your lovely comment and if you're looking to be featured in my next video all that you have to do is leave a comment down below please make sure that your post notifications are turned on because when you're first to comment that boosts your chances of being featured in my next video and that is it for this video please like comment and subscribe and if you don't have anything else to comment down below please comment what you are and that is a star always remember to keep glamming and I will see you all in my next video bye I would